Do you want Samsung Notes on your Mac? Well, this is actually possible with a way around. And today we're going to be using VirtualBox to complete that. Watch until the end so you can make sure that your application works. And if there are any problems, let me know down in the comments and I will directly help you. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to the internet. So right here we have Safari. So let's open Google itself. You can also find this all in the description so make sure you find it there right now it's the best that we already start installing windows 10 because it is a lighter windows we can use inside a virtual machine because it's about four to five gigabytes we first have to install this so type in the search bar dafonus.nl slash my usb right here you can actually see my usb and also the windows 10 that i've prepared for you and you don't have to go to any sketchy websites Right here is our website and right here you can click on the Google Drive folder. You can see all files right here. So let's double click on Windows because this is the one we need. Right here we have Windows 10. Let's click on it and then right click to download it to our system. Mine is Dutch but it will ask you if you're sure you want to download this while it's scanning it and that's completely fine. You can just click on allow to download anyways. Let's click on allow so you can actually install this from Google Drive itself. While that is downloading, let's go and search for Oracle Virtual Box. After you search this on Google, we have to go to the top results. After doing this, right above, you will find download. After doing this, we have two versions of macOS. You either have the Intel version or the Apple Silicon. You can actually find this by clicking left above on the Apple icon and then go to about this Mac. Right here, you should probably be seeing something like processor and then maybe an Intel or Silicon. For example, with this image, you can see that this person has a processor that is actually an Intel. So that means you have to install the Intel version. Right here, I have an example for Silicon. Then it says M1, M2 or I think M3, I'm not sure, but those are the silicon processors by Apple themselves. So right here, my option is going to be macOS Intel. After clicking on this, it's going to the downloads right above. So let's click on it. And then right here, it's going to download already. You can already see that Windows 10 is already downloading. And that means we don't have to wait as long. After VirtualBox is done installing and I've already prepared that, just double click on it and you will get this pop up right here. Very simply, just drag this one to the application folder so it's in your applications and afterwards just double click on it. It already says it right here, number one and number two. Right here we have the install, so let's click on continue and we install this for all users on the computer or you install for you only. Let's click on continue and let's click on install. This may seem very complicated, but please don't worry because everything I'm showing right here is all explained very simply. I'm just going to enter my password and then I can actually install VirtualBox. VirtualBox allows us to create virtual machines and virtual machines are computers inside of computers. That means that we can install Windows on your computer without changing anything. And inside this Windows, we can run Samsung Notes completely fine without any problems. Because you have a very fast Mac, you can easily run this virtual machine, start up Samsung Notes, and it will directly work. This is the only way it is possible. I've done a lot of research, and there's no other way Samsung Notes will work. With latest versions, cloud syncing, and everything working. So right here. Let's click on close because it's done installing. We can actually move to trash the installer file. So let's do that. After doing this, let's check for the Windows 10 ISO, which is the Windows itself we're going to install. Let's close Safari. We have pretty much already installed everything. The only thing you have to do is, for example, go to your launch pad and then right here, click on virtual box. Right here in virtual box, the only thing you have to do is click on new. After clicking on new, give it a name, for example, Windows 10, or if you want to call it Samsung Notes Launcher, which you can do anything on Windows right here. So it's your own choice, what you will call it. Right here, the folder, don't touch it, leave it there. The ISO image is the one we're downloading and that one is from Windows 10. So let's click on this button right here, the blue one, and let's click on other. 
let's do that and now i'm going to select mac os which is actually the name of my system then i'm going to click on downloads because it's a downloads folder i went here with the windows 10 iso make sure if you open safari that it is done installing you can see that right here and that it is completed so after it's completed just click here on windows 10 select it and then open it right here after doing this the only thing you have to do right now is click on skip unattend that installing that can actually skip a lot of things you don't have to enable anymore in windows right here let's just click on next we have to make sure this at least two cpus or something on this processor so just select this go to the right and then you can actually see the the number right here and maybe around four gigabytes should be enough but because this system is not uh, officially macOS this is actually a virtual machine I can't really all allocate more but I recommend you get above four gigabytes so that's 4000 MBs so you can just drag it here to around 4000 it will be the best so right here I'm just not gonna do that but let's click on next after doing this you have to allocate space so how much storage do you want to take up well actually 50 gigabytes uh, is enough because Windows does take some storage maybe around 30 gigabytes if you want to do well so you could go for 30 gigabytes that would be completely fine so let's do that and then click here on next after doing this click on finish and right here we can actually already start it up so let's start our windows by clicking on start right here before we continue so you can get something notes make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can actually help us get 10,000 subscribers before 2026 i know we can do it Right here just click on start and it will start up so once it's starting up you will see something like this right now i am on my windows but this should look exactly the same because i can't run a virtual machine inside a virtual machine but it should look completely the same so right here i can actually close this window by clicking on this button and right here we have the virtual machine right here we have the simple windows 10 installation let me show you how to do this it's very simple let's click on next right here then click on install now right here let's click on out on half a product key which is not needed right here let's select windows 10 home that's completely fine let's click on next let's accept the license terms next custom installation so the second option right here we have un unlocated space right here i'm just going to click on next uh, i mean on new and then apply that so we can actually create this partition so let's click on okay Let's click on next, don't select anything else. And then it will install Windows then on your virtual machine. Once you have set this up, it's two seconds to start up the virtual machine. And afterwards you can start up when Samsung notes itself. So after this, we can easily continue to that. Don't worry, we will be getting to it. You just have to keep watching to the end. While down below, let me know why are you using Samsung notes and why do you want it on your Mac OS? I mean, is it because you have a mac os system or and a samsung phone or is it something else let us know down below the installation is currently at seven percent i will be right back when it's 100 percent this might take 10 to 15 minutes so when it's finally finished you will see these pop-ups right here and then it's going to restart windows itself so with this pop-up right here we can actually click on restart now it's going to start up virtual box again and right here you can see that i've clicked on the screen itself and that you can learn that right control or whatever it says on mac you can actually click to get out of the window because this is a window on your desktop right now right here you can see it is starting up windows 10 and we are almost there just sit back and relax because most of these steps are going to be a little bit of waiting after this we can install samsung notes and it will directly work so after it starts up you should be seeing something like this right here we are being asked to add an account you don't have to do this but if you do have a microsoft account it can make things a lot easier so if you do have a microsoft account just log in right here it will actually directly work if you don't have a microsoft account don't worry you can initially click left above on machine and then go to settings after doing this you have network and right here we have to click on cable connected and then click here on ok now let's click on this back button and you type what you want to name your account but we still have to enable wi-fi again machine settings afterwards go to network 
cable connected so we're actually off some wi-fi when we start up right here i'm just going to enter my name and i'm just going to okay, press enter no. again because we don't have to enter a password and an account is not needed most of the steps you had before were about the keyboard layout and everything if you press the us or united states or wherever you're from it should be completely fine right here we have if we want to share data let's click on not now because sharing data means they have access on what you're watching for example accepting cookies these well, are the settings know. microsoft recommends the go ahead and review them the and select accept when you're ready keep it simple right here i'm just going to click on accept but you can also disable them for your own privacy right here we have a question if we want to customize your experience let's just Maybe? click on skip I'm pretty sure most of these are going to be very simple. So I'll be right back when we're on the desktop. After it's finally finished, just click here on yes. And then we can actually get started. You can click on continue with everything of this. You don't really have to log in. And then we can put away Edge for a moment. Let's go to the Microsoft Store by clicking here left below on the search bar and then type store. After you do this, open the Microsoft Store. Right here, we can actually finally install Samsung Notes we only have to update it once. So when it's completed, so right now we can actually do the exciting part and it is to go to this search bar and search up Samsung Notes. Right here, you can see it. We just have to click on it and then get it right here. There's a possibility it might not work, but let's pray together and hope that it works directly. Otherwise, I have a very simple solution, which you can actually find in the description called Galaxy Book Mask. And after it's completed, actually start it up and let's see if it works i mean it will work because it's a solution they have actually released an update where on windows 10 and 11 there is a possibility that it might work on your system it's only optimized for samsung galaxy books other computers might have issues running it but right here we can actually log in sign in right here which i'm not going to do right now and there you can actually see that galaxy book I mean, Samsung Notes is working and you don't need the Galaxy Book. It is directly working right here inside of your macOS. So to shut down the system, go to machine and they can shut it down right here. But what you can also do is click on the Windows icon and just close it like normally. Go to the power button and then just shut, shut down the system. After you do this, it won't be running. You can also right click on here and then make sure you stop it. So right here, I'm just going to power it off. And then I'm going to click here on power off. To turn it on, just open virtual box again. You have this pop up, just click here on start. It's going to start up the system. It gets to start up pretty quickly. And afterwards, you can easily go to this Windows icon and then type Samsung Notes and start it up directly. If you already know about Windows, you know that you can also pin it to your taskbar or your start menu. And then you have a quick access button below. After clicking on it, it will start up pretty quickly and you can easily start using Samsung Notes on your own Mac OS and Linux. I have sent Linux people to this video because it took me 15 minutes to make this and the same steps I can explain with Linux and will directly work for all systems. So right here, let's click on OK again and there you can see that it works. You can easily create a note when you click on it, you can actually give it a title if I select it, then I can type just like that. And then this is working. If you have a touchpad, that is great. If you have a touchpad on your screen, you can actually uh, draw things. It won't be fully supported, but you can use your Samsung notes right here. You can view them, you can uh, put them in folders and everything, and everything will be synced to your own Samsung device. Like I said, it took me around 15 minutes to make this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can actually attend those subscribers before the end of this year. I know we can do it. And I know that you probably want to subscribe and like this video because we have helped you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.